everyone this is Darsh Chitalia welcome to my channel Darshonium in my last video we had started with the beautiful history behind the making of the modern periodic table in that video we had studied about the Dover Reiner's law of triads in today's video we will be learning the next theory of Newland's law of octaves so we all know that the Dover Reiner's law of triad had failed due to some limitations but this encouraged all the other scientists to find out some other ways in which they can classify all the elements. So the next attempt was made in the year 1864 by a British chemist whose name is John Alexander Reiner Newlands. He came up with this theory of Newlands law of octaves. He correlated the atomic masses of the elements to their properties in a different way. What he did was he arranged all of the known elements at his time in increasing order of their atomic masses. Please remember by his time 56 elements were discovered starting from hydrogen ending towards thorium. So now let us learn the statement of Newland's law of octaves. The law states that when the elements are arranged in increasing order of their atomic masses, the properties of every eighth element is similar to that of the first one. So this is the statement of the law. Now why did they use the word octaves? As we all know in Indian music system there are seven notes which are Sa Re Ga Ma Pa Da Ni and again the eighth note is sa so we can see that first note and the eighth note both are sa and sa similarly in the western music system the notes used are do re mi fa so la ti and again the eighth note is do so as we can see first note and the eighth note are same similarly according to the law we saw that the properties of eighth element and the first element are same and hence he compared this with the musical notes and hence his law came to be known as Newland's law of octaves. Now let us take some examples of Newland's law of octaves. So here you can see the table of Newland's law of octaves. So in the first example we will start with lithium. So lithium being the first element from lithium we will count 8 elements. So let us do it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. As we can see the 8th element is sodium. We all know lithium and sodium have similar properties as they are alkali metals. And hence this example is owing the law. Let us take one more example. But this time in order to make it fun we will use musical notes. So we'll start with carbon as sa. So let us start. Sa re ga ma pa da ni sa. Again the sa repeated right at silicon. So as we all know carbon and silicon both of them have several properties and hence this example is also obeying the law. In order to memorize the Newland's table what we can do is we can use the shortcut that I gave in my video of how to memorize the whole modern periodic table. In that video I had given a shortcut to memorize first 20 elements that is up till calcium. So we can use that shortcut. If you haven't seen that video I will mention its link in the description below. But the only thing that you need to do is we will have to exclude the inert gases that is we will have to remove the helium and neon from the example. This is because they were not discovered at that time. So if we exclude that you will memorize the Newland's table up till calcium. Now let us move ahead. As we all know Newland's law of octaves failed. This is because his law had some limitations. Now let us learn the limitations of Newland's law of octaves. First out of all the 56 elements the law was applicable only up till calcium 
That is after calcium, every eighth element did not show similar properties to that of the first one. Point number two. In order to fit all the discovered elements, Newlands placed two elements in the same position. For example, you can see in the table, cobalt and nickel. Another example you can take of cerium and lanthanum. Point number three. Newlands table did not have provisions to accommodate newly discovered elements. So due to these three limitations, Newlands law of octaves failed. So this was my video on Newland's Law of Octaves. I hope every one of you liked this video. If you liked my video, please smash out the like button. If you have any suggestions or any queries or any doubts, please comment right below. Please share this video with all your friends. Thank you for giving me all your time. I hope everyone enjoyed. Sab log maze karo. Thank you.